isn't going to change. We can't do it. The doctrine was pre-millennialism. But now, there's a little term, a-millennial, and a means without. For instance, we say he's moral, he's immoral. Immoral means he has some standards, but he slipped. Amoral means he's without any morals. Everything goes, all right? We had premillennialism, postmillennialism. Now, Augustine brought in amillennialism, achillism. There would be no millennium. There would be no kilia ete, thousand years. But he couldn't base it on the scriptures, or he couldn't base it on what... Is it rabbis, really almost the end of the world? Fathers. There's no way of knowing. But it doesn't matter. Whenever it is, we are going to heaven. How do you know? I just do. And that's where all the confusion lies. So please, and I love you, but when I say Christ is coming back to earth... You know how you feel when you're trying to figure something out, but you don't know what it is? Or you can't stop thinking, but you don't have anything to think about? So that's what you're thinking about. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly. I was hoping this book would help me understand the meaning of my dream last night. I, uh, I had another apocalypse dream. But I, I don't remember exactly who I was with or what I was doing or what happened. I do remember I was left behind. I was going to hell. Or I was in hell. I think I was in hell. But it wasn't hell like fire and devils and lakes of ice hell. It was just a shittier earth, completely devoid of God or God's love. It was like you knew God existed and that he was there, but he denied you. I kept trying to call out to him to forgive me or save me or something, but he wasn't listening anymore. Isaac, you're having way too many of these dreams. Isaac, fear and faith are not the same thing. You don't have anything to worry yeah, about. I know I don't You're have anything. going to heaven. I know I don't have anything to worry about, but I can't really help it. Where were you? I figured for a minute you weren't going to show today. They were showing Deep Impact on TV this morning. Yeah, I saw it was on. I had a feeling you were watching it. You've seen it, haven't you? No. I can't really handle disaster movies. They kind of freak me out. You at least have to see the tidal wave scene. Uh, ne never mind. Now that I think about it, I think you showed it to me before. And I don't remember. I don't. Yeah, you showed it to me before. No, I don't think so. I think I showed you the plane crash from knowing. Yes, you did show me that. But I think I remember the deep impact wave, and I don't remember being very present, so let's not watch it. Hey, have you seen this yet? What is it? Apparently these scientists in Geneva are gonna like turn on a particle accelerator tomorrow. They're trying to prove like the Big Bang or something like that, but there's a chance if it all messes up, it can create a black hole and destroy the world. Why would they do that? I can't believe you haven't heard about it yet. I mean, it's all over the news. When do they turn it on? Tomorrow morning at 6. That's why I can't believe you haven't heard about it. 
Why would they do that? I'm, I'm sorry. Just don't worry about it. It's nothing. Do you know about this particle accelerator thing? Did you hear about the possibility of it creating a black hole? Why would I not be worried? Well, I mean, I don't think so. But I do. I don't know. I shouldn't feel this way. I guess you're right. Uh, yeah, sure. I think I'll be fine now. Hey Isaac, what's up? Where'd you go? I just went to the bathroom. For 45 minutes? Uh, yeah. What time is it? 7.10, we're still alive. Can I tell you something that you're going to think is ridiculous? You're not going to tell me that you enjoy movies for the whole family, are you? No. Remember that thing about the particle accelerator and the black hole? I mean, you were kind of right. I don't know. It actually did freak me out. Well, that's kind of weird. Really? It didn't scare you at all? No, I thought it was sort of funny. Why is that funny? I don't know, just that everybody was getting so worked up over it. So, you're not afraid of the end of the world? Why would I be? I mean, it's just like you never exist. It's just like before you were born. It's not like you're just sitting there thinking, Oh shit, I'm dead. Everything's over. <laughs> it's just like you're not thinking at all, you know? I mean, that's one way to look at it. I kind of believe in hell and heaven, you know? Well, what happens in the biblical apocalypse? Don't dragons come out of the ocean or something like that? That's pretty fucked. That, that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that when the rapture comes, if you're not a Christian or right with God or whatever, you get left by the rapture. You have to face seven years of shitty existence while everyone you know who you love is in heaven. Well, if you're a Christian, then what's the problem? Why wouldn't you make it? I don't know. Everyone has doubt, you know? What if the rapture happens and you're not so sure how good of a Christian or, or person you are? 
I mean, that magazine said the 15th, August 15th. I guess there's no way to know who or what God wants. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, I'm not feeling well. May I be excused? What's going on with me? This has never happened before. It hasn't been anything. Slow down. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Slow, deep breath. Call my mom. Please. Call my mom. I need to talk to her. First, tell me what's going on. What's the matter? I can't tell you. You won't understand. You'll think it's ridiculous. You can tell me. It's all right. I promise. I'm afraid that the world's going to end today. Sick. Honey, what's wrong? What's the matter? I just got upset. Upset about what? Nothing. Isaac, you've got to tell me what's wrong. This is serious. Please don't be mad at me. Sweetie, I'm not mad. Tell me what happened and start from the beginning. It's August 15th and the world's supposed to end today. I was sitting in class. I looked up, saw the date, and I got afraid. What's so important about today? Why today? I saw it in a magazine at the gas station. Oh, Isaac, I told you not to read that trash. I know. I didn't, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't even think I did until I started freaking out. So Isaac, what's going on with you today? He thinks the world's going to end today. Deep breath in and out. Alright, try that again. Deep breath in and out. I'm going to give you a prescription. One for anxiety and one to help you sleep a little more soundly. If nothing changes, then call me in a couple of days. They just put me on some medication. I've never taken like real medicine before. Well, you wouldn't have to take medication if you could just wipe your memory of all those years of indoctrination that these are the end of days. I don't know how much indoctrination I can blame on any specific person. I think it's probably a combination of guilt-riddled altar calls, the Left Behind books, or movies by TBN like The Omega Code. This one called Majedio was the worst. It was about the rise of the Antichrist. <laughs> it ruined me. Well, if, if you believe in God, then why are you so scared of this? I don't know. Self-doubt, I guess. Oh, well. Well, that sucks. So what are you going to do next time? What next time? Well, you know, 
because it was supposed to be this past week, they said, oh, we just miscalculated. It's going to be the next week. <sighs> Sorry, I, I, I was just wondering. No, it's fine. It doesn't bother me anymore. I guess now I'm more scared of freaking out again than believing it's the actual apocalypse. Yeah. Well, you do know that paper we read that prediction in is, is totally bogus, right? Like, that's the one that's still talking about John Benet Ramsey or Goat Boy. Every generation forever has thought they were going to be the last one. It's, it's not like all this just started. Yeah, that's what my grandma told me. So what's the next day? Um, I think like next Tuesday or something like that. I think I'll stay home from school. Just, you know, to be safe. I'll probably take some of those sleeping pills that I was just prescribed. That way when I wake up, everything will be fine.